Hello everyone, my name is Giselle and today I have another unboxing. So I have one from Ellen Nailed It and the other from Nails and Blinks. Super excited to open these up, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with Ellen Nailed It. Ooh, so it says, hello there, gorgeous, so cute. And then it says her website and her social media. Then you get a thank you card that says, thank you, you're greatly appreciated. Here's 10% off your next order, code how, howdy, 10. <laughs> So I didn't order much. I actually got two brushes, a sticker pack, well, two sticker packs and something else. So let me just open up her brushes. They are double-sided. So I got the five millimeter and seven millimeter. Oh, they come with these thingies too. So that's the five millimeter. And this is the seven and I do like the size she had different sizes so the other one that I got is the 10 millimeter and 20 millimeter and they came packaged really well they have Ellen nailed it on it which is super cute then I got these holiday stickers so I was already prepared when I went on her website <laughs> and these actually I think glow in the dark if I'm not mistaken let's see if they do turn off my light like they do have a subtle glow I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah I think these glow in the dark I just have to charge them I think they're missing one right here and like half of one here it's not on this so Mm, whatever they didn't really cost that much <laughs> and then the other one oh this is a nail decal Ooh, I've never worked with that before so I thought these were stickers but it does explain how to use them so it says prepare fingernail with base coat and polish allowed to dry completely peel backer sheet sheet i assume to expose sticker remove sticker with care to avoid tearing apply sticker firmly to desired nail surface which is spelled incorrectly and apply top coat to protect it so i guess it is kind of like a sticker it's just one that you literally stick how the hell do you get this out this is kind of cute like in a little card and it's just like that and they're holographic so super cute and in this box, I bought her dampen dish and this is gorgeous. And I know I've seen many like YouTubers that have a dish like this. And I've seen these on Amazon just without the lid. I forgot to put my phone on vibrate. But this looks so cute. It does pull off a little bit of pink, purple, green, yellow. I got the AB one. And all of this is what I got, her liners. Like I said, I do like Nails by Dev, but I don't mind trying out other brushes because why not? You know, you can never have enough brushes. I mean, I literally have way too many. And then the stickers just look amazing. These are glow in the dark and this one is just holographic. I can't wait to use these for Christmas time. And this one actually says Joy. It says DH196 no idea but anyways says merry christmas and christmas little treat they're so cute they're they're really nice and yeah i'm really excited to have this it came super well packaged in styrofoam in a bag wrapped everything the packaging is excellent so let's move on by the way my sweater is not dirty it's just actually like that like it's sewn in like that Anyways, moving on, we have nails and blinks. So I didn't unbox this as nicely, but I did get her 
fine sanding bands, her nail box, two nail glues, and her almond tips. I got two baggies of them because I was like, you know, I just really wanted them. And then she also puts in a card saying, hey love, thank you so much for your order, no matter the size. You have made a huge impact in my business and I appreciate you so much. I hope my products make your nail tech journey a little easier and help you create beautiful work. Please feel free to tag me on your post. I would love to see you see what you create from nail tech to nail tech thank you and she has nails and blinks and her name Val and that's it and I was so excited to receive these because these are pink sanding bands and look at them so cute and I believe oh okay awesome they do say it oh, okay close it again they're packed like super packed they have a hundred count of fine grit sandy men so she does have them labeled and I got three of these because these sell super fast she also has a um, medium grit and they're a lighter pink but I didn't get a I didn't really get a chance to buy those because regardless she recommends fine sanding bands for the natural nail to prep the natural nail so I was like all right and then of course I got her brush on glue and it's a nail glue you know it's supposed to be pink and then as soon as you put it on the nail it turns clear oh look the there's no like um stopper but yeah it's like this so that's cool and it's supposed to be like a light pink and like I said it goes clear once you put it oh huh this one has a stopper maybe the stopper got stuck in the other one let me check that again I mean it is I'll show you right now. I think you see it? So I think it is stuck. But whatever, I don't care. Maybe if I close it really tight and I open it back up, it'll stay. Oh, there you go, see? So not a big deal. It's fixed already. Anyways, moving on, I have her almond tips. And they do come in baggies. So they're like this, and they're not super long, which is amazing. And these are not almond. They are stiletto. Hmm. I thought they were already shaped into almond. Let's see the rest. I really thought they were already shaped into almond, but they are shaped stiletto. So let me close you guys up. I thought it was going to be as easy as putting the nails on, and that was it, but they are not. I mean, I guess, whatever. I mean, it, it'll be easier to shape anyways, so not a big deal. I prefer getting stiletto tips anyways, since I always do my nails almond, and if somebody wants coffin, I could just cut off the tip and make it straight, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm still going to use these for myself, because I do have, um, what is it, not polish like those universal tips and those work fine too and those are longer than these but I don't mind and then I got her nails and blinks box so I can put my almond tips and it's numbered so you can see the 0 1 2 3 4 10 9 8 7 6 5 I assume that's how you would do it so let's just put these in there and I'm gonna go by bag so you guys can organize with me as I go. So it doesn't have a 10, which I didn't realize, but I'm gonna just do the other box as well. I mean, bag. <laughs> So I actually do want to pick up her dampen dish because it looks so simple and cute. It's just like a round dampen dish with a heart in the middle, but she hasn't restocked that. She said she's going to 
wait until her warehouse is completely done to restock pretty much everything that she has. So I'm waiting on that. I do want to try her medium grit sanding bands and I do want to try her straight tapered coffin tips. I think those are the ones that I'm talking about. Um, so they go straight and they don't curve like the other ones that she has. That's like a natural nail. Um, I want the straight one because like I said, I don't like that my nails curve down. So that'll just accentuate the curve if I get the other ones. So I just want the straight ones. Um, but they're kind of long. So I'm kind of hoping that she gets back in stock her square short tips i really actually wanted to get those as well um i'm looking forward to using her glue because i like the young nails brush on glue so that's pretty much what i would be comparing it to and i'm pretty sure her nail glue is awesome because i've seen amazing reviews um and yeah and her sanding bands i mean i clearly believe in her that i got three so i'm pretty sure these will work wonders actually let me feel them so yeah, this is a good grit. Perfect. And I like that they come really packed. I noticed that her medium grit sanding bands are actually 50 count, not 100. So I actually like that I did get more for my money. And yeah, I am so happy with everything that I picked up from both Nails and Blinks and Ellen nailed it. Um, I don't know what else to say. I know this was really short and I know I'm not really doing much. I did want to do my nails but to be honest I've only had them two weeks and they're perfectly fine. I have no lifting or anything and um, they look a little wonky right now but whatever i'll be fine thank you guys for watching if you have any questions comments just you know leave me a comment down below and i'll get to it don't forget to follow me on tiktok it is my name but with a six and yeah thank you guys all for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time bye